Welcome back to my Ireland travel vlog series. In this episode, we will be exploring the city of Galway. With its lively atmosphere, rich history, and stunning landscapes, Galway offers an array of activities and attractions to suit every taste. Whether you're a history enthusiast, a nature lover, or a fan of traditional Irish music, Galway has something for everyone. Here are some top recommendations for things to do in Galway. Discover Air Square. Located just off Shop Street, Air Square is a lively public space and a great spot to relax and people watch. Admire the charming statues, take a seat on one of the benches, and soak up the vibrant atmosphere. Built in 1818, the Salmon Weir Bridge is the oldest bridge in Galway over the river Carib. People gather at the bridge from April to July to watch the spawning of the salmon swimming upstream. We went in August, so we missed it. Now, it is the main road to the Galway Cathedral. Dedicated in 1965, the Galway Cathedral is the youngest of Europe's great stone cathedrals. It is located to Our Lady Assumed into Heaven and St. Nicholas. Take a walk along the River Carib and see a different side to the city. The Fishery Watchtower Museum was unfortunately closed when we were there. This small museum sheds light on Galway's life along the river. The river walk leads you to another popular walk in Galway called the Long Walk. Right off the Long Walk is the Spanish Arch. The Spanish Arch was built in 1584 and has its origins to the Norman built walls in the city. It was designed to protect Galway Keys. Right by it is the Galway City Museum. The Spanish Arch is also related to trade with the Spaniards during the Middle Ages. Continue on the long walk. Ireland is passionate about sports, so you will see all sorts of pitches for football, rugby, cricket, hurling, and Gaelic rules football. You'll easily find yourself walking on the causeway to Mutton Island, which is home to a lighthouse and a sewage treatment plant. I like how the road was well paved, yet when you get to the end of the walk, the sewage treatment plant is not open to the public. Ironically, there are a lot of proposals that happen on this causeway at sunset. Sure, I guess you can't beat the scenery. As you head back to the city center, you will pass by the picturesque Clada Key, where there are colorful houses across the way. These houses were featured in Ed Sheeran's music video, Galway Girl. Look it up. Now for the rest of the Galway city center, you have the Latin Quarter where there are tons of shops and pubs. Along Key Street, you'll hear some street music performers, so keep your ears open. There's a medieval castle in the middle of the city, Lynch Castle that is. Now it's the home to a bank. I guess it's the same concept. I mean, that's how the economy was run back then and how it's being run right now. Go back to the medieval ages to Kerwin's Lane, which was once owned by the powerful Kerwin tribe. Now it's home to restaurants and pubs. Get away from the city center and go to nearby Salt Hill. There you will see sandy beaches and even a place where people dive off into Galway Bay. Hmm, not feeling as daring as these people. I 
just by a Ferris wheel here. Leisureland is a theme park. In the summertime, there are outdoor rides. We also pass by their indoor water park. Now I'm feeling the spirit of holidaying in a seaside resort town in the summer. Don't forget to grab some good eats while in Salt Hill. Galway offers a delightful blend of history, culture, and natural beauty, ensuring a memorable experience for every visitor. Whether you're exploring the city's vibrant streets or venturing into the wild landscapes that surround it, Galway promises a truly unique and unforgettable journey. 